welcome to the same frame. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of the Zane Frame. So, there's only one guy we have never actually gotten to now. Um, military All base. Please explain. Time. It's a military base! There's guns! Um... Thanks, Roll. Call. Roll call! <laughs> roll call. Hey! Call! Back. <laughs> Alright, Doctor. Go! <laughs> Good Doctor who looks like an evil Doctor. What is this place? It's an army base. Military base. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Becky, can't be this dumb. <laughs> what is wow, dumb? Fuck. I'm reading multiple robot signatures ahead. Proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. At least I'm not a pompous China doll whose evil plans suck the devil's ass. That's right, Leslie. <laughs> Fucking love Chloe. Oh, yeah. He calls everyone, Wesley. Don't know why. <laughs> why having a robotic butler is no more essential than that tie you're wearing. Dude's not wearing a tie. <laughs> now with this new surveillance system, I can see and hear everything they taste and smell. Why? <laughs> My God gives you lemons. You clone those lemons and make super lemons. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Skyward, I I love. He's the best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Little do they know that I have my own plans for these clones. Plans that don't involve these shadowy figures at all. Skyward, you're speaking a normal indoor speaking voice. So I am. <laughs> Little do they know, I have my own plan for these clones. Skyward. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Dude, I fucking have it. That's that's I like fucking love Code High. I know. Like I got rid of like that's one like the like the best times of my life. I was living in East Hall, was that the shitty one in our campus? Uh the one they yeah. said they were gonna shut down, then they didn't. Yeah, yeah. And so when I was like, I have OCD, I need my own room, or I will literally kill my roommate. And they were like, Alright, we got a lot of room in East Hall. Yeah. <laughs> the doors. I'm trapped! No shit! I probably need to kill everything, as I usually do. But, um, yeah, I remember I would, I was like, like a weird popcorn binge. I was dating, god, uh, what did I decide to call her? Allison, there we go. Um, which was going really well. I had my own, like, room at school, and even though everything was really difficult, there were still classes I enjoyed. And, uh, one of our friends, um... Uh, fuck, he lives in California now. Sean. Yep. <laughs> um, he had just introduced me to Clone High. And I found, like, the entire series on YouTube. And so it was just, like, re-watching and rewatching Clone High while I studied. And thought about my girlfriend and had a bunch of friends. And it was being popcorn. And it was nice. The only thing that wasn't nice is that it had really thin walls and my neighbors would bang constantly. That is awkward. Like, all the time. So they would just, so, like, I think they were trying to be courteous, so they just played music, but it was shitty music. It was, like, weird, like, uh, not shit anybody's culture here, but, like, African folk music, and, I mean, I'm a man of many tastes. But that ain't one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Again, to each their own, not trying to shit anybody's culture, but it just wasn't, I wasn't a fan. And I also wouldn't have been a fan of hearing them bang, so... Makes sense. Yeah. The only actual interaction I had with them face to face was they had a squeaky fucking door. Oh god. And um, I had some WD-40 for reasons. <laughs> and um, because I just basically carry around, even though I was never in the Boy Scouts, just Cub Scouts, I'm always prepared for everything. I have a tool for every contingency. Makes sense. Which ain't a bad way to live, especially since I had a car that would frequently explode. Um. Yeah. 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 Ah, the old Prola chariot. <laughs> Yeah, that car was a massive pain in the ass, but some days I miss her. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, you should probably stop climbing into the bullets. I was not trying. I was trying to do the opposite of that. I was failing spectacularly, <laughs> but I hope you at least appreciate the effort. Yeah, no, you, you get an A for effort. Good. That's the only way I get A's. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Those ledges are bullshit. So I was like, I went over, I just knocked on the door, the girl who was, I guess, just straight up living there, like, answered the door in her towel, and I was like, 
Right on. Your door's really squeaky. Do you mind if I put some WD-40 on it? He's like, oh, yeah, sure. So I did, and I was like, all right, thank you. He's like, thank you? <laughs> that was it. That's the only time I spoke to anyone in that apartment. Well, there you go. <laughs> Here we go. I, I didn't want to be like the ass and be like, keep it down! Right. Your sex is keeping me awake! Get out of here! That'd be awkward. <laughs> it was. Well, no, I mean, that situation as well. What the fuck? I have an idea. Nope. Huh. I think I was on the right track, though. I think this is as far as I got last time, and I was trying to figure it out, and then I fell into those spikes. Damn it! I think my timing's just off. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay. Damn it! Maybe instead of jumping left, you have to jump right. Mate, no. <laughs> Man, no. <laughs> you know. Damn it! What? Maybe you have to make that missile bot shoot it, but it's like. Shoot it! Yeah, I was about to say the problem is you have to get close to him and then have it track on you. To... At least I didn't instantly kill him. I was about to say, he might be about to die. <laughs> I, uh... I hate playing that. Oh, there's no ledge there. You have to jump off of that. Oh, can you reach... I don't think you can reach that ladder when you jump. Nope. What the shit? I don't see! Damn it! Alright! <laughs> I had a lot of good things to say about this game. This isn't one of them. <laughs> I am unhappy. Oh, there we go. Fixed it! <laughs> Was I supposed to do it that way? Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. It worked. That's what matters. God damn it! Alright, well, well, at least I got like, rid of the barrel. <laughs> I was gonna say, it didn't respawn, so is that. I know, but it's just that feeling of yeah. being sick. Oh my god, motherfucker! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, there's a oh, shortcut shit. there. And, well. Are you gonna drop more boxes? Apparently not. Oh, oh there's one. Alright, well, you can't predict it. So. Yeah. Alright. Oh, well. I'm not in this okay. for the... Yeah. That was a mine. Yep. I thought maybe it was like a launch pad of some sort. You don't know. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. I, w once I know that they're mines, I know how to avoid them. Yeah. <laughs> Turn ah. off. Mines are a very straightforward concept. <laughs> How does it work? You stand on it. Don't stand on it. Alright. Good talk. Don't piss on the electric fence. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Best game ever. Seems like a really easy game to win. Yeah, but I think you actually have to, like, pee through the fence is the thing. Oh. Yeah. That's stupid. Why would anybody do that? Here we go. Just mean... turn around. <laughs> To where there is not electric fence. Yeah, but then there's no game. Like, come on. <laughs> I know, but like the concept of oh. peeing on an electric fence. I'll bet they, there's something that you can get up there. Mm-hmm. Ow. You have to let another. <sighs> I am awesome. Indeed. I don't know if anybody noticed this. <laughs> oh god, I bragged! I'm fucked! Yep. Wait a minute. Yeah, this goes right back to where we started. Yep. All right. <laughs> there must be like a super jump or something you can get that lets you do stuff like that. Perhaps. Here we go. Bitches. Ain't. Shit. There we go. That was not about women, by the way. <laughs> that was about bitches. Yeah. I call men bitches too. Yeah. I have. I don't know why this reminded me of it. But oh. so you know when you have like. A memor Actually, the fucking nostalgia has a show about this. It's called, was that real? Huh. Um, you know when you like, it's like, was that real? Or did I, did I dream it? Was yeah. it the result? Is it the result of a half-remembered nightmare through a cracked mirror of regret? <laughs> as Pat Oswalt would say. Yeah. Um, uh, I saw something recently. Uh -huh. And the plot was... It was this dude, and... Shut up. No, I was that thing. <laughs> oh, okay. What was there was this dude? Go on! <laughs> and he was, like, interviewing this woman, and her thing was, like, she would dress up as, like, a Catholic schoolgirl and pose for videos or something, and she wanted him to, like, wire, uh... Uh, like, a camera system in her room. And they're meeting at this bar. 
this glorious war. What? The fighting is in our programming. It's in our circuits. Good God, y'all. We <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely Battle nothing. Say it again. Yes. Building the economy. If you're an industrial nation, what? Which we're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yep. That's uh, that's uh, that's something that people are like. You know, who cares if there's war? It's good for business. Like, no, it's not. It was good for business when we were making the weapons. Yeah. <laughs> do you think the, we uh, no longer do that? Do you think the sword's mightier than the gun? <laughs> I think the right sword's mightier. I wish. No, I meant like the other thing. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Suppressing fire! Suppressing fire! <laughs> like, I can do that! <laughs> this is fucking Archer joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cyril, get a suppressing fire. Suppressing fire! It just misses everything. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Turns out you actually have to at least shoot near them in order for that to work. I was talking about war. Well, before uh, oh, that, you were oh, talking about... gun control. Well, no, before that, you were talking about some uh, chick who dressed up like a Catholic school girl and some guy was trying to wire up a camera system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're in this bar, and I don't, so, it was just really weird. And there's, like, these two dudes, and they go in the back room, and then one of them blows the other. And there are just these two working girls who are hanging out and chilling out. And then suddenly, like, a fucking tanker truck explodes outside. And a bunch of people are, like, graphically dead. Including the guy himself. Uh, not including the guy himself at the bar. But the woman he was talking to, the two women there. Like, the only guys that survived were the ones who got blowing each other. And uh, the bartender's dead, too. So then this guy comes in, and he just, like, looks around. He's dressed like a... Like a I think he was dressed like as a southern gentleman, you know, with the white suit and everything. I like, fucking Kentucky Colonel Pride. Sanders. Yeah, Colonel Sanders garb. And um, anyway, and he comes in. He looks around. He sees that the bartender said he's like, Shh. um, and so he like asks the, the the guy, the main guy who survived, and he's like, pour me a shot of whiskey or something like that, and one for yourself. And then the dude like. Switches time, like he like turns back time, and then it like explodes in a particular way. Well, we don't have the weakness to him either. Yep. So, so that I think it's the bartender who's spared or something. Like he was meant to survive. Okay. Um, and then like the the guy who turned back time uh, like walks off with, like three other dudes. Go ahead. Um, who are probably also a mystical persuasion, and that 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 is a thing. That I am like, fuck it, I almost beat this guy awesome. once, so maybe yeah. we'll have luck. I don't know, it's one of those things that I'm like, that sounds like something from like, I don't know, Supernatural? Or not really, but I, like from like an anthology, and like I remember I was watching, oh, no. yeah, or something like that. And I can't, I I tried entering certain keywords oh, God. from that story. Yeah. yeah. Well. Anyway. <laughs> Didn't help. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Long story short, did not help. So if anybody out there is listening and they know what I'm talking about and could please fucking tell me what it is, I'd be so happy. Because it just bugs me. Like, was it a show? Was it like part of a movie? Was it something I was just like, geez, when was the last time I actually did flip through channels? You know, it was just like, I don't fucking remember the last time I watched something that... Whoa. Wasn't like 100% sought out and on purpose, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's very weird. I don't remember watching any shows that were like that in concept recently. Maybe. Wow. What the fuck? <sighs> this game hates you. Yeah. The audience has already seen this one, right? Uh, this level, yeah. I think. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get to the boss. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, so uh, Jack and I will see you next time on the Zane Frame. Yeah.